Okay, this tutorial is uh, using perspective, the effect perspective in Corel Draw X3. As you know, it's here. Uh, this was done in Corel Draw, and uh, looking at this one, uh, this is the combination of you know perspective, using perspective, using the transparency tool, and using the reflection effect. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this first. Okay. Control A is to select all and delete. Now I put the original one in the clipboard. Okay. So I started that graphics with this uh, this graph uh, you know this non perspective effect. So so first if you have this object here, the first thing you have to do is you have to group this. Okay, control G or group here. And this one should be grouped together too. Okay, it's already grouped. Now the next thing you have to do is uh, you have to join these together. Okay, to make it more accurate, you go to View and go to uh, Snap to Objects, and then click on it and click on this node and drag it here. Since it snaps to objects, then it's it would snap to the right node. Okay. Now we're ready to do the uh, the perspective here. Okay, so the first thing I have to do is to click on the first object, and you go to effects, and then click on add perspective. Now, when you click on add perspective, you're going to see uh, uh, grids. Okay, and then if you move this down, okay, you see it it makes it perspective like there's like a vanishing point there now what we're gonna do is we're going to do it step by step so I do this one first okay and then I do the other one going down okay now I click on this other uh, the side of the the box and I go to effects uh, add perspective same thing go down and if you notice all the text and the graphics of of the the ones if the objects in inside that grouped objects are also uh, made perspective then I can also move this and make it you know just realistic okay so that's it for the perspective. Okay, this is a very neat uh, effect because you can make realistic objects. Or for example, labeling you're designing a like a software box, or you're designing a you know like for packaging and stuff like that. So the next thing we have to do is we're going to make transparency here to make it more realistic. So I'm going to use my Bezier tool. Okay. Make sure you're still in Snap to Objects. Okay. So you to my Vizier tool, I'm going to make a box. I'm going to make a box of that one. Right there. Okay. Now I'll make it black. Now I'll remove the outline. Go to your outline tool and click on X. Now again, I'll go to my transparency tool, the wine glass effect, wine glass icon. And then click and drag. Okay. Then you can adjust if you want to make adjust it a little bit. Okay. Now it has like it has depth now. Yeah. So now you can either put another transparency here. Let's try putting another transparency here. So we click on since it's snapping to every node. And look and make it black. Remove the outline and do a transparency. Let's say from here to there. Or maybe from here to there. Okay. I don't overdo this one because you know that the light source is coming from this side. So I'll just make it a little bit, just a little bit here. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. Now it's more realistic now. Now 
I'm going to zoom out here and we're going to put reflection on this one. So first you you group everything, you put it, make a crossing window and then you go arrange uh, group. Okay. So once you're grouped here, I'm going to duplicate it, hit the plus sign now. And then I'll grab this node going down. And then if you notice too, it's not the right, it doesn't fit in here. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on it and go to arrange and group. Okay. Then you go to the first one and then you go make a, 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 a perspective again. So you move that. Okay. So I'm hitting the, I have to group it again, including the transparency group then I go effect transparency then I can move it I can move it higher one more okay I'll remove the I'll uh, snap the object so I can move the, the object freely okay then I can also move this one if I want to but it doesn't matter because that's gonna fade down Okay, so I click on this one. Okay, make sure I group the transparency too. And then I go effects, add perspective, and move this up. Up. And that's it. There. Okay, that looks good to me. Now let's zoom. Okay, now group the bottom part. Okay, control G or arrange group. Okay, so once you've grouped this one now, now go to your bitmap, convert to bitmap. Okay, 150 is fine because it's only a drop shadow. And you click on, make sure you click on transparent background so that you don't have the white box. Okay, so once it's there, then you can go to your transparency tool again, interactive transparency and then click and drag down here yeah very cool now if you really want more details you can make a shadow here so I go click on my vizier tool and I click on view and then snap to objects again and then I'll choose here, uh, this one, this one, over here, and then close it and make it black. And I'll go to my outline, remove the outline, and I can go to my transparency tool again, interactive transparency tool. We're just going to make an illusion that there's a, a little bit of shadow in there. Yeah, I think that's good. And we do the same with this one. Go here, 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 here. And then make it black. And remove the outline. And go to your transparency tool and click and drag. And uh, there you go. Okay, zoom out. There. That's really cool. Then you can make a background. Let's just make a background there. Arrange order to back page. Very nice. Now I'll just remove the outline here. And that's it. Simple, but very elegant.